Costa Teguise Golf Course lies under the constant vigil of an extinct volcano. For the Canary Islands, this is a very old golf course. It was designed by the Briton John Harris and opened in 1978. The only golf course on Lanzarote is like an oasis in the middle of a sparse volcanic landscape. The fairways and greens seem like spots of paint on the black and brown lava desert. It is in this contrast between the thick green and the monotonous rocks where the particular appeal of this course can be found. The many old palm trees underline the unforgettable atmosphere. This golf course is not like any other. Even the many island fairways, surrounded by black gravel, are unique. Here you may have to completely reconsider your game. In order to reach the island fairway, your ball must fly and not roll. Rather hit shorter but higher balls, so as not to land in the almost unplayable rough. The fairways only help you to a small degree. They are often as hard as stone, yet sometimes as soft as a pillow. You should therefore always check the consistency of the grass, so as not to be caught off guard by the surface during your swing. The color of the bunker sand is also unique. The material is fine gravel made of lava. Because of its makeup, the content of the bunker is relatively hard, so that on a regular basis, balls landing in the bunker are redirected back onto the fairways. The many dog legs and often hilly course result in the player hardly ever being able to see the flag stick from the tee. You should therefore study the brochures showing the layout of all the holes very carefully. These brochures are available in the pro shop. A good course management is half the battle. Decisive is also your ability to put good theory into practice. The first already requires you to reach the first island fairway. In order to keep up your good spirits, this hole is best played defensively. You will then not lose any time looking for your ball somewhere way out in the lava. From the third hole, you will not be able to see the flagstick for quite a while from the tee. Your view is blocked either by the terrain or by a dogleg. Typical for this golf course are the palm avenues that optically narrow the fairways. You should therefore plan meticulously and not take chances by experimenting too much during this first round. Don't let these impress you. Underneath the palm leaves, there is more space than you could have hoped for. The possibly narrowest landing spot for the second shot is on the ninth. It must be positioned in a dip between two bunkers in order to get a clear view onto the goal of your efforts. The back nine lead over the driving range up the hill towards the towering volcano. Here you will encounter two difficult par threes that only have a very small green. The distances from the tee to the flagstick are quite long, so that you need to play very accurate shots from both the 12th and the 15th. What is possibly the largest bunker in Europe, if not in the world, is in your way on the 16th. This is one truly gigantic bunker. The fairway that leads around the sand giant is narrow and very hard to hit. If the shot is not long enough, the ball lands in the middle of the slope and you cannot see the flagstick even with your second shot. Latest at this point in time, the whole situation becomes quite tricky. Costa Teguise offers idyllic harmony in an unpretentious way between sparse nature and the game of golf. You are not likely to forget the special ambience of this golf course. One of the reasons is certainly the mild climate, even in the European winter.